first four, which says, Enter into his gate with thanksgiving and into his court with praise. Be thankful to him, a blessing before all ages. God from God, light from light, true God from true God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is visible and invisible. He came down from heaven by the power of the Holy Spirit. He became in the name of the Virgin Mary. You want to give the statement of the NCC let me know when you are ready. minutes because of time so we're going to have and give us prepared to come following each other and we let all come in front we are here God to be ready for this great we've gathered here to worship you but also to seek your face in the beginning was the word and the word was with God. And the it is, it is, um, it is an affront on Kenyans who are paying taxes. Because um, when the treasury is saying the country is broke we should not be seeing creation of additional positions for a few so that they can earn salaries and allowances. So we would ask and urge Parliament and all the state officers involved in that initiative to shelve it until when Kenya is able to pay its obligations both in terms of debt and in terms of providing services to Kenyans. Excessive borrowing that is not in accordance with the law, that is not oversighted by Parliament, who are the representative, we still believe that there is no taxation without representation. So we must live within our means, and we must stop the theft, and we must all work together. Not just, this is not a responsibility of national treasury, it's a responsibility of every Kenyan to save our country and to make sure that the little money that we are raising through taxes does not end up in pockets of a few. The National Council of Churches, we called for the formation of a bipartisan committee to discuss the issues that uh, caused the country to go to demonstrations. Those issues have been discussed. They have come up with a report. The report is headed to the House. So we are urging all players uh, on both sides of the political divide to wait until this report is adopted by the House. As to whether there will be a referendum or not, that is a decision by Kenyans, not by politicians. Thank you. We have enough for all. In this regard, we remind all that seeds are the foundation of food security. And therefore, the proposed privatization of Kenya Seed Company should be stopped. On our part as NCCK, we continue to build the capacity of community members to adopt conservation agriculture. We, also, we are also using church compound as demonstration sites for adaptive agriculture practices as well as agroforestry. Let us all join hands to ensure that Kenya is food secure and all Kenyan sleeps hungry. This executive committee has taken note with concern that time is running out of the constitutionally required boundary.